Greetings, greetings, greetings once again my sports to the bone people Welcome back, welcome back to the channel And in this one, I have a couple of cricketing stories that I find really interesting That I say I need to share with you, right? So just give a listening ear until the end And I will meet you in the comment section So we see where veteran commentator Reds Pereira is saying that CWI needs to urgently make some decision and one of those decisions would be to replace Jimmy Adams yes my peeps we're going to talk about it plus we see where um, former England cricketer Kevin uh, Peterson is saying that you know franchise cricket will eventually phase out international cricket and that is a topic that we have discussed on a few occasions so I'm just going to share what Kevin Peter is saying and we can have a discussion in the comment section. So just give a listening ear until the end and make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right. So kicking things off with Joseph Reds Pereira. As we know, he's a very outspoken um, man. You know, he's usually not too afraid to put out what he's thinking and he has raised a couple of things that CWI needs to address immediately. And according to Joseph Reds Pereira, my viewers and subscribers, um, Jimmy Adams' uh, contract is not being renewed. And he is currently in Jamaica based on what he's saying. So, you know, Reds, Reds is saying that CWI needs to go into the international market, find somebody to come and, arc and, and be the director of West Indies Cricket, and they also need to find a coach for the women's team. So let me go down into this article here that is talking about it. I'm taking it from the Guyana Times. So they say Cricket West Indies has been moving full steam ahead as it relates to announcing squad and upcoming tours. But the urgent decision is yet to be made or yet to be announced. And that is, according to Reds Pereira, the replacement of uh, Jimmy Adams. And also, you know, who is going to replace Courtney Walsh. And based on Reds Pereira, um, the former West Indies captain, Marisa Aguile um, Aguilera, is actually interested in becoming the women's coach. So let me go down into it now and give you the exact the, um, quote. So this is Reds here, and I quote, the first urgent decision to be made by Cricket West Indies is to replace Jimmy Adams. My understanding is that his contract is not being renewed. He is back in Jamaica. He went on to say, Cricket West Indies have to go to the international market for a replacement. There is no one that can take up a position easily found within the Caribbean. It has to be a person, well, he said there is no one that can take up that position that is easily found in the Caribbean. It has to be a person with a strong cricket background, said um, Reds, end quote. So, he's thinking that they should not, you know, do something like, like, like they did with, with, with Jimmy Adams, a past player. You know, just just getting the job. They are looking for somebody, as he said, with strong cricketing background. So I'm assuming somebody that would have played the game at the international level and somebody that would have um, done similar work, you know, directing an international um, cricket uh, cricket team or somebody that would have studied, um, you know, you, you know the, the ways of improving a, 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 a country and a whole in terms of, of, of cricket and them sort of things. So... It, it, very interesting, my peeps. Very interesting because, you know, we, we, we definitely want somebody that can get the thing organized, get everything up and running. Because at the end of the day, if the cricket is not being developed, then, you know, you go eventually phase out. Because you need um, people coming through from the from, from the young, from the under, under 13, coming up to under 15, under 19, coming right through. So, you know, they definitely need somebody that is going to be able to make sure that that, that is organized and things are flowing and, 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 and stuff. Yes, my peeps. So, some, some very interesting um, thoughts from Reds Pereira. Now, 
I just said that, you know, he, he, he said that they need to go to the international market. But he made um, reference to one person or, he, you know, he made a suggestion saying that um, former West Indies wicketkeeper batsman Jeffrey Dushan should be the man for the director's post. So that is what he said. He went on to say, and I quote, he is the one that might be able to uh, take the job and even do, be do even do a better job than Jimmy Adams, who was found wanting when, he when we lost the World Cup. He said, Dujan is highly respected and has created, uh, has created contacts around the globe. He is possibly a better communicator. You, so the article, that's end quote. The article went on to say, based on reports coming out of different parts of the Caribbean, um, Miles Bascom, who was co-selector with Roger Harper, the former St. Vincent and Windward Islands batsman, may be in the running for the job. Hmm. They say, he went on, um, this is Reds again, and I quote, with all due respect to Miles Bascom, this is asking someone that is not equipped to play that important role. You have to see a big picture. Um, you have to see a big picture of responsibility. It would be a mistake to try to appoint Miles Bascom. Maybe it will be unfair to him to carry that role. So that is what he's saying, my viewers and subscribers. It, it would probably be um, unfair to, to him. So he's, 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 he don't want, you know, he don't want to hear anything. He doesn't want to hear anything where, where, where Miles Bascom is concerned or, or anybody else. You know, he's looking for Jeffrey Dujan or somebody else um, at the international um, stage. You understand? He also spoke about, as I said earlier, the, the, the women's side of the game. You know, saying that CWI needs to, fight to, to announce a coach pretty soon. You understand? So he's saying that surprisingly... Um, the interest for the West Indies women's head coach job has been coming out of Trinidad. They say the former West Indies captain Marisa Aguilera, I understand from good source is, um, from good source in Port of Spain is that she is putting her bid to become the new coach. This is, um, Redza again. He said, I quote, and I quote, her experience is very limited. She coached Trinidad and Tobago in that short CPL um, exercise among the West Indies women in St. Kitts. And I think she managed the West Indies under 19. That does not make her a strong candidate for handling the job at that high level. End quote. He went on to say um, he believes that CWI may have to go to the international market to select a head coach for the women's team also. So, quite a few things, my viewers and subscribers, um, Ritz Pereira is talking about. He also said that Desmond, as it relates to Desmond, Desmond Haynes, he's going to be clear and he, he needs to be clear on the fact that Hetmeyer made himself available, but he could not have been, um, you know, selected. Saying that Desmond Haynes needs to be a, a little bit more diplomatic when he's dealing with these sort of things. So, we, 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 we are in interesting times, my viewers and subscribers, when, when it comes on to these sort of things. So, um, he had a couple more things to say as it relates to this man Haynes, but I'm going to leave the, that one for another video. Now, I wanted to touch on something that uh, Kevin, Kevin Peterson was talking about, my peeps, you know, and Kevin Peterson believes that um, when it comes on to international cricket, you understand franchise cricket is going to be is, is eventually going to phase it out you understand this is kevin peterson um talking here my viewers and subscribers let me just go down into it because you know he's saying that and i quote cricket cricket will be club based in not too in the not too distant um future says um kevin peterson um in his tweet so he's basically saying that it's just going to be club cricket you understand and franchise cricket international cricket will not be able to compete with um the franchise cricket and based on and on, on, on how the, the franchise teams are going i i wouldn't even to oppose him too tough my viewers and subscribers we don't want that to happen because not everyone will be able to get a franchise contract you know so we're not going uh, simply means that if you're not in, on a franchise level then you know you're probably going to be playing club cricket which is not the best thing in the world so you know, we are hoping that ICC will find a way to come up um, and to battle against the franchise cricket. 
it's gonna be hard to battle against the money so more than likely it's gonna have to do something with partnership and icc compromising and and, and trying to you know not to clash with the with the big um franchise um tournament so that is it for this one my peeps uh stay tuned later on today we're going to be talking about um west indies a and bangladesh a we're also going to take a look at a couple more things that Ritz Pereira had to say where West Indies cricket is concerned. Big up on yourself.